in the spirit of research for my properties that I am expanding the glamping accommodation, tonight I will be staying in a tree house. So make sure that you stay tuned so I can show you pictures and videos of what that's like and how the operations go. Oh, this is so cute. I love it. The little kitchen. It's really nice. Oh, this is so cool. This is like a little screened in porch area. So you can sit outside and listen to that awesome stream without being eaten up by mosquitoes. <laughs> or sit on the porch if you like. The porch is really cute. You can see the tree goes through the top there of the porch. Maybe I'll just sleep in this room. You don't have a stove, but you've got everything you need. You've got the toaster oven and the microwave and the little refrigerator and coffee pot. This copper sink's really cool. And the bathroom's just enough. It's kind of dark in here, but just enough. <coughs> kind of carrying the copper throughout. Super cute. This one actually sleeps four people, technically, in the bedroom. I love it. Kind of kept that cabin theme. Okay, y'all, the tree house was awesome. Way more my speed than the glamping tent that I stayed in. It was really nice to have heat and air. It was really nice to have electricity. Um, and the cool experience. I'll tell you that one of the other really cool things about it that made it better than the glamping tent that I stayed in had to do with the location. The tree house was in like a beautiful forest with this really cool uh, stream in front of it. And so the sound that you could hear, you're surrounded by nature, like the ambiance of your setting, I think makes such a huge difference. So picking that right piece of property for your glamping property is really, really important making a YouTube video on the whole experience. So make sure that you're subscribed to my channel.